Hey there internet, Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. And this is the Fixed Fans Retractable Pressure Washer Hose Reel. So what is the Fixed Fans? And actually now there's a couple of other companies with the same type of product with different branding. I'll try to link what I can below, but they're all like in the $195 to $220 price range. There's definitely strides being made in this arena because normally for pressure washer reels, they're usually all manual. Whether it's the Cox reel, the Amazon reels, or whatever they are, some of them have a nice drag feature, some of them don't. These are completely retractable. Many people have been converting air hose reels to pressure washer reels, some with some success, some with not so much success. Uh, they are not built for high pressure. And this thing can do your quarter inch, your three eighths inch, uh, it can fit a 50 foot 3 inch, inch pretty well. This is the Blue Shield Kevlar. This is one of the smaller diameter 3 inch hoses. Since it's made of Kevlar, it's very, very light, which is why it's my current favorite hose. So this is the Uberflex quarter inch hose. This is a great hose, a great beginner hose, especially when you're, you got that Ryobi, that Craftsman, that Greenworks. You just started out and you want to upgrade from that crappy, you know, stock hose. Awesome. Has M22s, gets you upgraded, still is a quarter inch. It gives you a 50 foot hose. So it comes with actually a pretty good jumper hose. Already has M22, that way if you wanna put it on your pressure washer. I prefer Quick Connects uh, and not the M22 on my uh, jumper hose. Uh, and it also has a, a Quick Connect on this end. Uh, there is swivel on this end as well. Like I said, it's a pretty decent jumper hose. Just wasn't the length or the setup that I needed for what I had, but it does come with a decent one. Now we're gonna try both the Uberflex and the uh, Blue Shield, but I am gonna tell you that to get the Uberflex to work, there's much more work. You either have to modify the M22, as you can see this one right here, I shaved off like a good bit of it for it to be able to go up in here. Most hose reels don't work really well with the M22 fitting because these things are just, there's so much there and it's so big. Or you can use one of these. This is gonna cost you about 18 bucks uh, for this two foot jumper hose. Uh, usually comes with a, a female uh, threaded uh, MPT 38s on this end with a male quick connect. You're gonna need two of those. So they usually don't come with two. So you have to get another one. One other way to do that, which is gonna be your more expensive way, is this contraption right here. This is literally two swivel three inch fittings to give you the length you need. Uh, there's a three inch uh, female MPT. Uh, right here to a uh, male quick connect and on the opposite end is a three inch elbow what male on one side female on the other then a three inch male to m22 conversion like i said this is a contraption i just happen to have all this stuff 35 dollars worth of fittings so if you're going to reflect you're probably on the value budget into the spectrum and i would suggest something like this it's only 20 dollars on amazon uh, m22 swivel at the bottom quarter inch rubber coated uh quick at the top this is a really good spray gun, giving away this multiple friends. They love them. Now, if you're going the Blue Shield route or you got Cobra Jet or whatever you're using on the 3H inside, it's GS28 all day long. For me, I beat the crap out of this thing for three and a half years now. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of drops. I just don't care. I just throw it on the ground. But the trigger pull, oh man. These, they have curves on the rollers at the end. So if you do want to angle, it does work. Uh, Dual arms, dual arms are only really found in really expensive um, pressure washer hose reels and any kind of hose reel. Usually most of them are single uh, side arms and they're always very shaky because they don't have the support on both sides. So you do have duals there, really good. Really good swivel here, uh, bulky. And uh, you do have a dual uh, click mechanism, one on each side. So that way you don't have to go as far to undo or get it to lock down uh, as you can see right here it does come with a really cool um, hooked um, three inch it's not a three inches it's like water hose connection here then it hooks around and becomes a three inch quick disconnect so when you have a hose like the three inch with a, a male plug on one side it just snaps right in and just goes around it's one of the easiest installs you'll have it works awesome that gives you that female end on this side to hook up to your gun uh, at the bottom, you can detach the entire assembly from the wall bracket. So you can uh, mount the wall bracket onto the wall first and then come back and add this. One thing that will happen when you get this, and a lot of people don't understand, so I saw some reviews saying it doesn't work, it's loose. This thing comes unwound. It has to be wound up. 
and the suggested wind is like 20 times. I would go 22 or 23 times. Uh, so basically once you wind it up 22 times, that's all the tension needed because you're gonna hook it up with it all, all the way out. You need that tension to roll it back in and get on the reel. So if you go this way, you're gonna hear this noise. You hear that? That's the spring kind of mechanism on the inside because we're going the wrong way. We wanna go this way. We wanna get to where we can click. So we go this way, do that click. We have multiple notches for our clicks on each side. And you just kind of keep track. I see how many times this rotates around. So let's go one. Now be very careful because as you're rolling this up, the tension gets greater and greater. So just make sure uh, that you're holding on to it because if you let this go, it's just gonna go crazy. So you got 10 more to go. That's some around there and then I locked it down so that way it isn't gonna unravel on us. Now, if you do hook it all up and when you reel it in, you get two rotations out and you're missing some, guess what you have to do? Bring it all the way out, disconnect your hose, wind it a few more times to get a few more clicks in there, hook it back up, reel it back in. Once the reel is tensioned the entire time till it hits the stopper, you're good to go. Now we got to wind up. That's pretty much it. This is just an amazing pressure washer hose reels. I've had it for six months so far. It has been amazing. No problems at all. Mounts good. Reels good. With all that being said, don't forget to check out the links below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's put it on the wall. I'm using my table here uh, with a bucket and we're setting this on top of it. I've already pre-drilled my, this has been taken off on the wall like three or four times already. I use the bucket, it's like the perfect height. I use my self-adjusting bench right here to lower it up and down and get to where I don't have to, you know, manhandle this thing. Obviously it's not that heavy when it doesn't have a hose on it. Now I wanna be very careful because you see this mechanism right here is on one notch. I want to take that off of that notch, come back this way a little bit and come back to like the second or third notch. I'm kind of, you know, if. I accidentally move this, I have more notches to go. It's not gonna accidentally go off one notch and just go flip crazy on me. We set it right here. And then, look at that. That's perfect, let's lower it just a little bit. There we go. Now you know me, Ryobi tools. Ryobi extension, another extension because this is a long way to go. But like I said, you can detach the unit from the mountain bracket, put the mountain bracket on the wall and you can put this on there. But trying to line those uh, bolts on two different sides when I only have this much room, nah, it's easier to just do it this way. I have a drill bit, the socket adapter here with a 9 16th socket. Now these don't come with this, it comes with something different, but for what I, my application, this works way better. A big old monster 9 16th lag bolt here. Yes, this is crazy. Here we go. Here's the fun part. Feeding it all the way in there. So this is the biggest thing about the Fix Fans or the other companies that make this kind of one right here. It's how solid it is. Once it's fully mounted, you have the two-sided uh, swing arms right here. Look at how, look at that. This thing is stout. It's barely moving. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. Now this is the Blue Shield. These are well-built, almost industrial style um, hose reels, but this is only single-sided swing arm. So you get a lot of this. The double-sided one is like a couple hundred bucks more. We're gonna hook up our jumper cable here. I got it set up perfectly to where it's exactly the way I want it. I kind of like curve it down this way so it runs up the way I want it on the wall. It's three inch inch. Always use Teflon tape. That's good. That's not going anywhere. This is the crazy, you just, you're out of control uh, type of setup here. There's a 
slot right here, and there's actually a piece of metal that bends back and forth that allows this opening to get bigger. And it is an opening big enough for an M22, but it's it's way down here, see where my finger's going through. It's not in line with the quick connect. If you want to put it in line, you hit the limits of the hole size towards the top. So with this, we're able to go straight in and hook up to a quick connect, and we snap it in. We need to run through here and down. Now we hook it up. There we go. Now let's reel it up. Pick my hand kind of up here and I guide it with the other hand. As you can notice that this is just going to go right through there because there's nothing stopping it. But that's why we have the clicks. So sometimes you may have to go through like this, holding it, making sure now we're past the click. Now we go back through and we have one click. We're just sitting out just like this. So we M22 this way and you see swivels. Now we don't have to have a lock. Now let's undo this and show you how to do it the jumper hose way. We have our quick disconnect. Going right in there. There we go. And we basically can run this. We'll run it past here to there on that click. We run this through. We put an M22 to three inches quick connect on the end of the hose. Connect that up. Now, we get some slack, run this through. Now you see, this is what you're gonna run into is this really long flat area that causes the Uberflex over here uh, to bend a little bit, but you see it's not kinking at all. It's a perfectly fine bend. We're not putting a ton of tension on it. So we'll let this run. And there we go. Another thing to point out is how sturdy this is while it's locked. Accidentals? No. I'm pulling pretty hard to get it to come off that locking mechanism. And when you do lock it, make sure you lock it in the first or second one so that way if you do accidentally pull, it's just gonna go to the next secured notch. Um, once you're past that, yes. If you let go, this thing is gonna spool like a mother and it's gonna pull that hose and it's gonna whip and slap you like crazy. Move the rubber grip off of the end because if you notice within the rubber grip, it, the hose won't bend in there. It's, um, it's a really stout uh, rubber grip, works really well. Now one of the biggest things about this having the quick connect, it makes life so much easier because we're snapping in. Usually most of these reels, you have to screw the thread of the hose in. Well, most of these don't have a swivel on the end. So if you don't have a swivel on the end, screw them in, you have to turn the hose and it wants to spiral and kink like crazy. Now we'll feed it through. And then quick connect. Well, now that we have it in there, you can see the curve of the hose is gonna hit the metal right here. Uh, but it is curved, it's not really abrasive, but we can use that rubber part of the hose right there to protect, and then we can wrap around. Now we can pull it in. Let me tell you what, the Kevlar, it, it reels up really easy, because obviously we're further down, this isn't sitting way up like with those other adapters, it's gonna roll. Up our SGS 28. Now that is our stopper. So here's your close look at the mechanisms. There's your lock on that side. On this side, there's where the jumper hose comes in. There's that sweet looped quick connect. So we don't have any binding of the hose. It all quick connects perfectly. The blue shield, did you see how much is on there? I think you might be able, if you found it perfectly, you might be able to fit under 25 feet on there. And you could probably be like halfway in, halfway out on the edge. But uh, this is just perfect. There you go, the Fix Fans retractable pressure washer hose reel. I consider this to be one of the best purchases that I have ever made for the garage. I took a risk on Amazon, had no reviews at the time, 
had a couple weeks shipping out, but those are like the products I like to pick up. I like to be the first one to find one of those hidden gems. And at the time, it was the only retractable one that you could find that wasn't somebody trying to hack an air hose reel. 195, 200 bucks, that is a good bit, but it's still cheaper than a Cox reel, uh, manual hand reel. Uh, and the biggest limitation is that it only holds about 50 feet. And the other big thing is to make sure that you wind it up. Uh, you don't want it wound up in delivery. You don't want it to show up and it been spinning constantly uh, and messing things up on the inside. So 22 times, make sure you reel it up nice. Make sure you're holding on to it. Don't let it go. So don't forget to check out the links below for anything in the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. The fixed fans, uh, retract. <clears throat> Fixed fans, retractable. I'm going to have so much trouble with this. Retractable. Uh, like I said, kind of running about idea. <clears throat> so, so this is the Uber. And, uh, a lot of the European. <clears throat> now to go with that Uberflex, I would... it has the quarter inch, which. Mmm! I have a, um, a socket. I have a drill bit to socket. Uh, I have a drill bit to so <sighs> Show you the jumper cable. Now let's un. Now let's undo this way and then show you how to use. <sighs> now let's un. Now let's undo this and then. Now let's. <sighs> now let's un. Uh, and that required...